eight or nine patches in a row, something like that. They're all very small buffs, but at the end of the day, you have got an extra 30 damage on your level one arrow. You have 15 seconds off of each leap charge at level one. You have the Ag Scepter went from, I believe, 11 down to 8 seconds over yeah. the course of several patches, which people are buying Ags on Marana now. And all these factors combined have made it so her number... She's just an all-around hero. She's not a hero that's meant to do one thing. She just does a bunch of little things. And these types of heroes are either super good with their numbers, meaning they just do everything really well, or their numbers just aren't high enough. And right now, Marana has hit that critical threshold. I haven't seen her all year. I don't think we saw her in any major, nope. any minor, maybe more than five times this nope. entire year. And now she's here for every game. First pick every yeah. game, yeah. It's just crazy how that works, right? Mm -hmm. they just These heroes that are off the map, not picked, just hit this threshold eventually when they've been buffed. And that's just the, bal the delicate balance of Dota. It's crazy how... And it takes one person playing it, right? Like, it takes, wait, this is good, and then all these other teams are like, oh, yeah, it is. Like, look at this, and... You know, there could be other heroes like that, right? But it takes yeah. someone to try it. It's it's really difficult. That's why um, I think the break day in between really necessary, not just so we can roll production to the venue, but because... <laughs> that helps, yeah. <laughs> but it gives you time as a team to digest, like, remaining. information overload that the group stage gives you. You know, it's it's, what, 20 Five series a day? A um, over four... Or, well, 20, 20, 20, then 15 plus potential tiebreakers. Like, it's just so many games. It's so many games. In fact, actually, it's... Is it 175? It'll never be too much. It's a lot. I don't know. All I know is it's so much Dota, and I will take as many days as I can to watch it. Yeah, we love Dota. I remember talking to Seb yesterday, and he said that if you get flustered or something goes wrong in the group stage, you can't recover mm. because you're just... To have Dota, Dota, Dota thrown into your face. Yeah. Like, you have a series an hour from now. If you just had a tilting, frustrating two game series, you're, guess what? You're playing in two or four hours from now. Whatever. Like, you got to come back and just bounce right back. And Ten that also goes with the information me. processing, as you said. I expect to see unique ways Five to deal with me. the meta heroes that we haven't seen yet coming out in the main event, right? Mm. That's usually what happens. There's like this group stage meta where these certain heroes are super popular. And people yep. have to either ban them every game in the main stage because they haven't figured them out. Maybe there is no way to figure them out. Or they have this unique way that counters them. Then those yep. heroes no longer become viable. And then every other hero becomes viable. Yeah. I, I, it's cool, too, because you see, like, people figure out, like, just different reasonings. I, I really want to point to, like, OG giving away the mag and immediately taking two methods of offensive perch, Shadow Demon and Enchantress. And that's going to be, like, that is a critical nugget of information. Because yeah. it, you realize that OG doesn't care about RP. It's just about the damage app. And they feel like if you can remove that, who cares about this mag? Because sure, he'll have some lockdown, but the damage output's not going to be there. And little things like that, then you see upper bracket matches where there's this understanding like, okay, I don't want to pick mag because this hero's in the pool. And it's, but you multiply that by like 500 different relationships that maybe a little tweak is frustrated the group stage by some team. This is looking like a, looking like a fresh Lifestealer game. We've seen it a lot this tournament against the Ogre, specifically. They have three beefy meat shields for you to eat. You have a lot of heroes that kind of synergize with Lifestealer running in. If you go on them, there's the Jakiro counter initiation, the boat, the invoker. It's like really hard to focus down one target here. And... I don't know. Uh, it's not exactly the most stylish what hero. What about a type? Or oh, Spectre. Right. Uh, okay. Hmm. It's excellent against Marana and Magnus. And conceptually, right? Yeah, because you're, 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 your definition of reach, you can pop bolt and jump in. You're immediately on top of one of them. You're going to cancel the mag blink and provide full vision. So yeah. let's say there's a Marana in this. You can assume that there's going to be more movements as five, or at least more Ten aggressive movements really because you have these extra smoke snacks to the Marana invis. If you pop haunt and all of a sudden five you're spawned, you, like there's an empty space where all of your illusions are, it's some pretty critical info. And you also already have this like amazing team fight from, te from Team Secrets, three heroes. So I... you just needed the ability to scale. I feel that LGD is just going to pick a hard, really hard mid-gamer that pushes buildings. Jug obviously still in the pool with the mag. Yeah. And I, I love, yeah, Jug's yeah, pretty sick. Here. Team Secret just doesn't have 
active heroes that punish the power in terms of the ability to just consume the map because you have one carry that's just empowered killing creeps killing creeps and i always favor the team with empower as long as they have as much or more space to farm the map the only limitation you can have with empower is that there aren't enough creeps on the map to hit either your hero with empower doesn't have enough camps to clear or he's killing everyone else's creeps you know the meaning the rest of his team has no items and i don't the one thing I don't like about Spectre against Mag is you aren't applying any tempo. And any hero that gets picked is going to have the start that they want them to have. Invoker, a weaker four-position hero in the early to mid-game. We saw Ame had a really good start last game. I expect whatever hero they do pick for him that gets bloodlusted and empowered to simply be able to mow down yep. the, the towers, the and heroes. The farm. Also means that this tiny is most likely mid right yeah, That's what I thought. I, I was going to ask, like, what do you think these are? Could be Marana middle still, obviously. It could be tiny. That's going to be an axe. So since they picked the axe, they left Jug in the pool. It's yeah, a nice counter yeah, initiation against against the mag. Yeah. Uh, I'm a fan of troll here, I think is my biggest one. Is I'm just looking through the hero list. PA seems okay. Yeah, it's too slow. You want something that does tower damage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, the fact that you don't want the Ten seconds. PA. The troll seems better. Yeah, I think it's... Terror Blade isn't yeah, crazy. Into Axe to Kuro Invoker. Yeah, no, no. It's no, an Invoker no support is no why I said base yeah. Core. Uh, uh, yeah, it's... Terror Blade's not the same as most of the... You could go Luna, maybe? Don't you just pick Troll? Just some melee hero that hits buildings later. Yeah. You can't... See, tasteless void. Oh, the void right. again. Uh, Should have seen that one coming. You Cuckoo do have a ton really of setup nice. again. Cook is really nice against void, though. You do have Axe a lot more. pretty good against them too. You have a lot more catch for void this game than you did last game. Uh, the thing is, I'm curious how he adjusts his build on void now that you have mag. Maybe you don't need the Midas. Maybe you can just go Yasha. Madness, perhaps. I would say Yasha more likely. A lot of times carries tend to go Yasha if they have a mag, just because. It's such why. an efficient item when nope. you have the empower. Because you just move faster and hit faster and more damage. But you're silencing yourself. I've, Mask of Madness quality of life wise on Void is so hard to use. Because you use it in the chrono and then you're. The four seconds after the chrono, you just die. Because you still have the Mask of Madness on. I yeah, personally right. have Actually, had a very axe, hard time using it. Axe, that's important. So, we'll see. which one do you like more? You like this Faceless Void last pick, or can Nisha Spectre carry this game? Definitely a better matchup than Slark. And, and I know it kind of goes both ways now, because you can pounce and stop the leap, but Void just kills Slark all game. Whereas Spectre, sure, you'll tank the Chrono, but the hero is far tankier, and you're built to just sit there and take a beat, whereas Slark is more of the elusive uh, surviving hero. This is a pretty sick Silver Edge game for Void. You're against... Uh, That's the axe point. as well as the specter. So maybe Ooh. third or fourth item. Maybe just Maelstrom into Shadowblade BKB or BKB Shadowblade. Okay. Yeah, I could go for that. I could go for that. Yeah, you in the past you used to go Mask of Madness, Shadowblade BKB mm -hmm. or BKB Shadowblade. So I think that makes sense now that you pan out the picture of Silver Edge being really good. Uh, that you just go for the Maelstrom maybe. You could Google Vlad's too. That's true. Uh, I, I love Void. Vlad with Empower. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was thinking is usually Vlad's, you don't have enough farm to keep up with, so you have to go for the Midas, but now with the Empower, you can play the sustain mid-game fighting because they really don't have much damage in the mid-game from Secret yeah. to kill a Void. They're all in on this. It's typical in the sense that they're just looking to outplay their opponent. They have a ton of disable, ton of stuns, massive utility. Shove towers. You can rotate around the map. You can you can win your lanes, or if you lose them, you can look to start rotating around the map. The concern is going to be, and, and then PSG GD. It's just very solid, very standard. Um, nothing like we haven't seen before. Yep. But Middle Tiny is a little bit different. We have seen it. Maybe though. Yeah. How does how does this matchup middle go? Because I thought I was like, I guess they picked the Tiny to go against this uh, Kunkka middle. I assume it's a reasonably good it's matchup. It's a very even matchup. Okay. Uh, a t tiny it's definitely in, tiny favorite now yeah. because you still have a mechanic that deals plus yeah. damage on yeah. denies and they removed it from Kunkka. I'm just saying it's maybe 60, 40 at max, 55, 45. Yeah, but tiny threatens tiny. kills, whereas... Uh... Well, this void. 
Do be taking a little bit down. Still wants to go for the rune. Won't be able to get it. Zai spam clicking that W. And once again, Secret did this last game as well. They smoke up and they place runes bottom and top. Neither of them were scouted out because they were smoked up. Zagro tri lane block. Yep, get it under the tower. See Nisha just hide and FY is guarding his creep wave. The ogre five here. Oh, arrow right into Nisha's face. That's gonna be a skewer back. Light blue already left. The ogre is here, possibly a kill, but Nisha at least will get these levels. He made they they made it. They, they made him miss all the last hits except for one. That was a nice part of that. They were dealing damage while their own creeps were dying, so it's it kind of like an efficient play where you deal the damage to Nisha. You're not missing anything while he's also missing something. The double whammy. You have this bloodlust in life. Again, it is just the Absor support invoker. Zai, not a tiny this game, but an axe. Another X with uh, no Cult Tap is the Battle Hunger. Constantly be proccing those stuns. Middle lane. We haven't quite looked at it. It is 6 3 for mid one right now. Somnus at 5 1 has a lot of creeps coming away though. Trying to harass a little. He's trying to toss him under tower. I like the threat of it. You gotta be wary there. There's gonna be a battle hunger coming up top. Exanova. Just gonna eat a, a little bit of damage here. Yep, so obviously not the craziest. Dude, getting the ring of Bassy feels good on the invoker because you need that damage. Yeah. If you're not going X sword, you're not doing any damage. It's so nice for the axe too because he gets a little bit of plus armor that just. It's just efficiency, right? You can tap. Remember when Axe started with negative arm? Poor guy. What is that? Like the Dota pit mine. So about. He had really? negative. He started with negative one armor, yeah. Rough one there. He's going to be initiation this ogre. It's just. Even as a five ogre, you just have a stout shield. You got eight armor plus three when you're under the tower. Meanwhile, Rune Somnus in a lot of trouble. Mid one? Kill. The bottle from Tiny was out, he knew. Bottom lane though, Chal's taking a ton of damage as well, FY. He's gonna have to back it up. So the harass coming out from Secret. Start wearing on the regen from LGD. I love what Pup. Fast wand, holding onto double mango, spamming spells to and obviously not you're not gonna do super well bottom until uh you start winning the Bob Lane that gives away all of Ogre's mana. Oh they buffed that. That's part of the reason that Invoker's probably seeing more position, right? Didn't they change EMP like a patch ago? They buffed about cold it. snap. I know that. I don't know about EMP. Yeah, it's Colt Snap that got buffed. Got gotcha. damage on it. And he Ame almost dies top. Ooh, yeah. Barely got the time walk off, and he's gonna take a lot of damage over time. He has a salve, but he can't use it for about five seconds. A lot of see it, because they're just pushing in the tower. They're like, we're gonna push in the tower. And he doesn't have a salve, or he doesn't have a time oh, walk. There's gonna me. be the call, it's just gonna be a kill. He's getting right clicked, and yeah, Zai just punches him one in the noggin. First one. This top lane, we've seen it. I mean, this is the lane that pretty much won. Bottom lane, they're gonna try to go. It is gonna be a TD back to the base by Puppy. It will be Nietzsche alone, but that's the salve in five tango. Void kinda had to die there. He had no regen left. Mm -hmm. He bought an extra salve and he didn't he wasn't gonna get the courier anytime soon. So he oddly didn't. enough, you're not happy to die by any means, but kinda had to. Like, now that you're back, like, all right, I got some stuff. We'll see what I can do. He does get the call off. Gonna be spinning a lot. Ogre is taking a ton of damage. We get another spin. We'll get time locked, but still just spin after spin. The cold back. snap plus the battle hunger. X Nova goes down. Still no back, but gets the right click. Ame oh, will pick up a kill. That almost takes him to level four. Guess who just TP'd up here? It's FY. They. The hero quite yet. Whoop, whoop. Faking it out. Faking it out. We'll just leap over. Nice tornado. Starstorm hits twice. It is only level one, though. Ame oh, gets a double kill. That's a good turnaround. Yeah, you just you just died, and as BSJ said, it doesn't feel good, but I'm sure that feels good. Getting the double kill, you have all the region in the world now. Bottom lane, puppy. Just complete hindrance to Chalice right now. It, it'll be interesting to see what, uh, whether or not Secret prioritizes Ra or the specter i feel like based on mid one start he'll be the one going that allows then nisha to play more of like the 
the Slayer Spectre that has a more, um, what's the word, like, uh, this, you know, when it's, like, not as exponential, but, like, more linear item progression, where you are strong enough to fight with each ultimate cooldown, uh, instead of having to just save for a relic, which is very punishing. Dark tier came out. Yeah, exactly. I would love to see this Midas, um, because as we just queued up on the Spectre, Middle. Midas into, like, Mantis. Middle, there's an Invis coming out from Somnus. FY rotated here as well. Won't even be able to get the boat up. Does have a Fairy Fire, but with smacked God. down by the Tiny. FY zoning. He also has ball charges that he can get to Somnus here. That helps me set his lane a bit. Top lane. He's gonna have to get out. 1,400 gold stayed on Void. I have to imagine he does buy the traps just because you have a bag. I don't think you go for the Midas as we talked about. Just hasn't bought any components yet. Has not been oh. able to get to the side shop because yeah. the lane's always pushed into his tower. It is less than a thousand gold lead LGD with that double kill top helping out quite a bit. Rune will be a haste. The puppy just scoops it up bottom. We did see FY was like, I wish this top, top wasn't for him. Top lane, and fucking Zion might need to be a little bit careful here. Bloodlust get to go out. This is level three time lock by like twenty percent, thirty-five bonus damage, quite a bit. And they're just gonna try to run him down right now. There's gonna be a set from X. Oh wait, here comes the arrow. They want to try to get Yapsar as well, but there's gonna be the call giving him bonus armor. He will jump forward if he gets one more bash. Should be the kill, but a nice tornado save there. Back out three heroes top from the dire chalice. He's not getting too much farm down bottom. I mean, you look at the CS. Mid one's having a great time. Mag and Void aren't having the best. Yeah, it's a tough lane bottom for... It wasn't really the greatest lane in first place. Like, it's better for the game, most likely, that they have the Ogre 5 instead of 3. But the laning of Milana Mag is... Don't have that guaranteed arrow into a... Ogre's also got way more base stats to body a Spectre. Click, yeah. Bloodlust, I mean, right, we just see level 1 Bloodlust. Now Bloodlust your own, you just hit him. You don't care if creeps are hitting you, if he's hitting you. You talked about a lot of the harass damage they had top on Secret, and Ogre's job was pretty much to just be a V shield and Absorb soak as it. much of it. Yeah, and that's exactly what he did. And uh, otherwise, I think the Void would have really struggled. Yeah, it's a good point. It wasn't, it's just like mag, right? You you obviously provide a ton of utility and damage amp the late game, but laning phase, you are a bit of a liability. If he were top with the void, that would have been good. Now we have slowed down, not quite as crazy as it was last game. You got a Spectre, so it's like, let's just buy time. Will be a torrent flying out, will it hit Chalice? It does. Ice path goes down as well. There is going to be the tiebreaker. He does go up, but guess what? X immediately back down. Mid one will take that kill. FY's here as well. Has leaps, two charges of it. X is on cooldown for 10 seconds. Just taunts his way out. How, how can he direction while spinning? You saw Michael Jackson moonwalk, right? It, it's ruining my life. Okay. Saying you, you know you can moonwalk, so he just moonwalked continuously. A That's circle. not a moonwalk. And but I'm saying at time, what I'm saying is he was moonwalking in different angles continuously. Think about it. Wow. The, the geo geometric angle, angular projectile trajectory, I don't know. Let's move on. Okay. BSJ losing it, Kyle losing it, and Somnus losing all his mana middle. The EMP That's does segue. ruin this tiny. Just farming, I mean, going for that Midas as you said. Should get it reasonably quick, looks like about the 10 minute mark. It's really nice because he hasn't had to buy boots either. Like, very efficient. Just wand, wraith band, a drop to. Very efficient, Nisha. And when you get Midas this quick, it feels real nice. And I don't believe Void is going for one. For that. He does have the oh. Morbid Mask. Oh, nope, he's got the Mask of Madness. Oh. oh, bottom lane, okay. they are going to try to initiate in. It is going to be a nice arrow as long as just stunned. There's going to be the reverse polarity. Will it be enough to kill Nisha? Still alive. No, goes down. There's going to be the boat. Mid one wants to at least get a follow up kill. It will just be the five ogre. So a nice gank there on Nisha, that Spectre, which will slow that Midas down quite a bit, actually. Yeah, punishing that greed is huge yep. for them. The one drawback of going for that early Midas is it leads you susceptible to that early gank that you wouldn't have died to if you had treads or phase. And I'm surprised, um, I would have seen, I've seen other Spectre go 204. I think if he goes for the offensive, like, I'm just sitting in the lane 
massive difference that he actually lives there. Sun Hug is going to throw him down. Zai is going to be there. Get the call up. They want to get these runes. There's going to be a Spectre ulti as well. They're going to go for Ame. He is just going to try to time walk away. Defensive has the chrono. Will he use it as he's defensively? He will now. They want to turn around. Maybe not. Zai actually looking for a call. Gets tossed up into the chrono. Stuck in midair. Zai still alive though. Gets the call up. Puppies here. Has a nice path. Hasn't committed it quite yet. X will bring him back. Arrow flies actually ends up hitting the Jakiro. X Nova looks to be the next one to fall. Now they're going for Puppy from the backside. All the illusion moves to the corner. We'll throw Somnus into the air. Puppy, next one to fall. Ame is on a killing spree. And back it up. Where they move forward. They want the boat. There's the X. Pull the tiny back. Hits him. Right clicks go. Well, they're looking for Zai, but Ame just has to make it out. Secret with a nice team fight there. A yep. slow, steady team fight, but they have that damage. Key, and this is something Secret have just done so well all year is that as the four heroes of Secret picks them, skirmish in one lane, who's farming alone, getting acceleration going, it's Yabsor on the four position. Usually something greedy. I don't think it gets much greedier than an Invoker four. Not. Unless it's just his Rubik Fade multi. Radiance middle tower is under attack. They meme about it. They, it's just kind of like it just is what it is at this point. It's like the cores of secret. You know they don't like it necessarily, but Dyer's it's just like you know what we, we won attack. so much. Why don't we? Dyer, Will we get a bash hit on mid one? No, the first hit isn't there. Macro Pyre goes down. Ice path the same. There will be an X on X Nova. All the mana way, I'm sure he would. And they just back it up on secret. All four heroes, Nisha, Will, just TP. Well, goes to middle. And all the tower, you see it. 100% tower health on secret right now. Meanwhile, the tower almost going down on LGD. Just Tons of denies. Look at the so denies, by the way. It is. Eight denies versus 34. Kyle, he's getting his read on right now. There will be a toss in middle. It is going to be Nisha. Will he be able to bring him down? Does have that level three dispersion. Tornado goes out. EMP there as well. Ice path to lock him into place. Somnus with no more mana. Does have a one plus two bottle charges. But the boat doesn't actually hit. Didn't bring him back in time. Will it matter? It looks like it does. He's just going to wander on out. That guy's beefy. Certainly is. Once you get that, right, once you get that level one grow, you don't feel good at level five. You you get gone on like that. But once you get the armor, a lot better. It popped on something. Bottom combo ready. That's a Vanguard Axe, though. Very tanky. It is. There's going to be the Shockwave. You bring three heroes down. What he is, though, as you said, gets the call up, the extra armor, and Zai, he's juking, he's jiving. Will he be able to make it out? Somnus has a toss up in one, and there's the toss. There's the kills. And a big one. A lot of magic damage. Dismay of Zai. It really did not, I don't even think it was any auto attacks. Vanguard not exactly effective. And they're actually gonna do this to Chalice and FY. And type it. This tiny. Took so much, and that's what we talked about. You you just got this burst now. It was the middle tiny, you have the early level four on both your abilities. A lot of axes I've seen go phase windlace into blink. I, I, I've seen the trend of requiring a vanguard kind of fall off a lot and i see there i don't necessarily love the vanguard this game they have so much magic damage coming out from lgd it's one of those games i think we saw it might have actually been inside camera was just going phase double bracer i really like that it might have been that was was it seb no i think it was kp no i don't know man there's, you there's 18 off laners at this yep, tournament I can't remember. it was kp it was kp you just like you just like the HP, the mana, everything it gives Look, you. And th this is also, by the way, basically why I like the Mask of Madness. It's, like, it's not even necessarily for um, for like fight. It's just able to farm. I mean, Vlad's would do it too, just slower. Yeah, but you can't break it. The thing is, you break Mask later for MKB oh. and oh, okay, Butterfly yeah. if you need it. Like definitely MKB in this game. Maybe not the Butterfly, but it's just very. That was a huge bolster to his farm. Suddenly, has oh, a free yeah. Mithril Hammer from that ancient stack. That was huge. Almost level 10 as well. And this steroid is going to rocket him into the top of the net worth. Kunkka does have the double bracer going at Solar Crest first item. All right. Thoughts, oh. Kyle? Uh, it's different. It's okay. Different. If you think about it, right, they're just trying to keep the Spectre alive. If OG showed us anything last year, it's that damage reduction armor stacking on a Spectre is pretty damn effective. Um, so, and you know, as secret, you're never going to be in a scenario where you're able to, like, out-initiate the innocence, because you're playing against, like, Marana Invis, they have Void Chrono, they have Magar P, all these stuns, a tiny with a Blink Dagger, so you're going to just sort of allow this initiative.
counteract and look at the win probability even though it's only 15 minutes 70 percent oh the rune still gets picked up and now ame he's in a little bit of trouble the call is gonna be there can he get anything off no he just goes down he tries to walk up the hill just to steal the rune Chalice will get his ulti off but it does only hit onto one of them there's a try chasing down do they have any detection ice path is there call a little bit late you need that detection especially versus marana very interesting from Ame. He thought he had that rune after he saw one of the heroes get stunned, and then he just walks into an ice path. He, he got a little overconfident thanks to that plus 12 strength down at level 10. Does have a lot of HP, but yeah, unfortunately you get locked down, and it doesn't matter how much HP you have. Eventually you'll get worn down. Zai getting close to that blink, and that's when it's very scary for LGD. FY does go for the mech. We've been seeing a lot more of the, the mech on the Marana. I haven't seen one this fast in this tournament, though. But Brown Boots bottle mech. Do you like it, or do you want to... Do you like seeing them more creep clear? Do they just know they, they got to fight early and not let the Spectre go late? Is that why, or...? They have a decent amount of burst on the side of Secret, and that extra 250 health might make the difference for a hero like Void for him to get the time walk off. Radiance That's what I think the idea behind it is. You just want to survive that li that extra little bit of threshold against a hero like Axe, Kunga. Oh, also, the offensive Solar Crest is pretty insane. I feel like it's more of an offensive item in this game than a defensive, yeah, to be you, honest you with you. Yeah, you just put it on the Void, right? Yeah. And if he pops Mask especially, and all of a sudden you kind of neuter that attack speed plus, and then you just don't... He don't changed his away. item to a BKB instead of a Maelstrom, by the way, on huh. the Void. So he says that he needs to be able to participate sooner than, rather than later, basically. Yeah, but that. Well, you decision. need to be able to just force fights every chrono at this point, right? You're playing against a team that's going to outscale you. It's Invoker, Spectre, like, yeah. it, like Axe. The thing about Axe is that there's never going to be a scenario where the Void isn't killable, right? There's nothing to itemize for that prevents you from just getting called and then initiated on. Yeah. And was he was maybe trying to like toss. I'm pretty sure if you toss near the same frame as the X pullback, you end up like Landing, in the air and back at the tower. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks like that's what he did. That's how it does with the buyback. Yeah. Remember the buybacks? Yeah. Where the tiny would toss and the guy would buy back after he died midair and land <laughs> at the time. The place he died. Yep. That was pretty funny. Both teams, by the way, picked up blinks at about the exact same time. Whoa, they smoke, but it's instantly broken mm. by Chalice, who just put away. So you got a blink on Mag and a blink on Tiny. Is that too many blinks? Should they have gotten some more team items, or do you like the blink on Mag? Uh, I like it. I honestly don't know if I like it on either hero, actually. Maybe, maybe on Tiny, but to your point, I think Mag goes teamfight items, right? You're playing with Ogre and Magnus. Like, stack that damage amplification, right? Make Void a superhero. Yeah, remember when uh, Ice 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 went the Fred's Vlad Solar? Yeah, um, that I'd love that. Like, play it like a Titan, right? Yeah, I think that would be kind of cool. I With the counter initiation from Axe, as well as Invoker, and the yeah. ultimate from Spectre, Blink Dagger, it's just hard to use. It's yeah. not necessarily never going to work. It's well, just hard to pull it, off. It's tough because there's three heroes on Secret that can combo break. Yeah. Specifically Invoker. So you kind of need to get Yapsor. And um, other, you have to get Zai too. And look, you can see how they're playing, like, always together. And it's just incredibly difficult to find oh. a on the court. They're going to be an They're going to X him back. No, nice leap away. Wow, FYI. I have no clue how he did that. But he did. there's going to be a call coming on the Ogre. They try to bring him back. But it looks like Ame wants to go and pop the BKB. Doesn't even Chrono. He hasn't used it quite yet. He's still thinking about it. Meanwhile, there will be an RP on the backside. No one's gone down yet. Puppy actually gets his ice path up. There's going to be the Chrono. Finally, one, three, now two. He has the Empower, so he's cleaving down. Nice what? call by Zai, though, to pull him out of that. Puppy will go down, but he's going to buy back instantly. There will be an arrow fly. Doesn't he one puppy comes back. What's he get an arrow? He's gonna throw oh. some arrow will hit on to mid one. Can they bring down? Yes, Ame with the right click. Puppy does hit two with that ice pass, but the right click's going on. Chels will get the kill. Zai does miss the dunk. Purge the empower. FY trying to he wants Yapsor. Yapsor is just dancing on him. Ame taking a lot of damage. Is gonna have to try to run away. The ice path hits onto two of them. And what a long, drawn out, strange fight. Three drop yep. on Secret, two on LGD, and a buyback I'm, by Puppy. I'm surprised Secret committed that hard once they botched the initiation and saw the Void BKB. They still confidently take the engage. Not go their way. Nice RP by Chalice as well. Look, Secret actually does more damage, yeah. but they don't win the fight.
I mean, Zai probably saved that fight too with that blink call on the Chrono. Doesn't yeah, allow him sick. to get those kills like immediately That's after. That's also kind of a mistake on Void. He's not gonna let that happen again, yeah. by the way. Yeah. He was on the part of the Chrono that Should leaves him in range. Yeah, yeah. You move so fast that you miss maybe one auto attack. Look at that. Misha did 3,000 damage to that fight on the Spectre. Oh, well, we're gonna move forward. Looks like EMP will go up. Somnus is gonna lose all his mana. There's gonna be the boat as well. Multicast goes out on Zai, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Somnus is just gonna get brought down pretty easily. On the max side, Yapsor is getting run down. For one right now and these fights non-stop Ame taking so much damage and because that mask of madness can't really do anything he just has to run away there could be the ice path once more ogre goes down oh, nisha with the, the double chalice uh oh nice oh play. yes wait no ice path there to do it but zai blinks back in goes for fy there's the ice path now there's gonna run forward there's the solar crest slowing them all down nice skewer to save him for now nisha though chasing tries to leap away but fy goes down in mid one gets the kill all of a sudden lgd is crumbling under their tier one zai actually gets the call off after the time lock, and there we go oh my god he just melted he went he was at one armor nothing zai once again these blink calls into the backside you think the fight's over but no he gets a plus one every time nisha gets the tower and all of a sudden, you've got a full Manta phase boots and a Midas going defusal next on this Spectre. Oh, yeah. And that defusal time is insane. More than, look at this. He had 3,000 at the last Radiant fight, 3,700 this fight. He's done about 7,000 damage in two minutes now. Somebody get this guy a, a hat. He's shielding the sun. Man. Please. Just please. It's bright. <laughs> That's how most gamers look in the light. But uh, I just want to say it's much easier for Spectre to play this game than it is for Void. Uh, I always like to look at the carry role and think, what hero would I have an easier time doesn't like pushing the proper buttons and positioning and all that kind of jazz? And even if you get initiated onto on Spectre, that isn't necessarily a bad thing. That might actually be what you want to happen. Uh, on the other hand, on Void, if you get caught by one or two chain stuns, you might just get burst at full to zero. And to your point about the Mask of Madness, like I like it, but the moment you make a misplay here or there, or rather. Once your team loses a fight, all of a sudden the fact that the enemy carry has a Midas and you don't becomes incredibly relevant because the game isn't going to end anytime soon. He will consistently outpace you uh, throughout the game. The one thing I liked about Vlad's, I know it sounds weird, but it, he's using time lock, time walk a lot in these fights, especially in the mid game. And I, I don't like Mask of Madness when time walk is a, a reliable way to survive in the, in the fights. Uh, and I'm not necessarily saying he had to go Vlad's instead but it it just feels well, like I, he could be much more survivable I, I'd agree, but I without don't, it. I don't think Void, like, it's the same reason that game you were discussing, Huskar getting a four staff. Void is your hard carry. He's the real source of damage for LGD. They have so, they have two methods of just buffing a melee carry. Someone else needs to buy the Vlads. Then how about he goes Vlads on Mag, and then you get exactly. a Yasha on Void going and going like, I just sure. don't want the Mask of Madness, sure. is what I'm saying. Like, some stat item, or some just nice item. Yeah. I don't, you I don't have anybody nice, fact, just an all-around okay would, item. It's one of the rare games I wouldn't mind Asante yeah. Yasha, just because status resist is so yeah. good against Secret. Zomnis dodges the smoking. No, the tornado hits at 0 0.01 cents. Can it looks you like see that you hit an Invis Hero with that? It doesn't look like they know. Sitting there, he's like, well, have haunt. Is good. Ags the item? Oh, dude, they're going to just... They're gonna to chrono, it into chrono. Yeah. Boop, chrono into the tree storm. It's gonna be uh, much like the Radiant's fall of Isengard. You can do it against a. <laughs> Look at this X Nova doesn't even get one point in that ignite. Just four zero four on this ogre is going the Vlad, but you know five position ogre. It's gonna take a little bit. I think he's going butterfly on Void next, just because it's a nice stat item. But more so, he wants he to disassemble this. <laughs> Mask of I gotta get rid of this, please. <laughs> I made a mistake. I should have listened to BSJ. Yeah. Well, yep. getting common close to that problem for carry though. players yeah. nowadays. But, but I do respect the fact that, like, you know, this is what makes Ame a tier one carry, right? Because he makes this move, and honestly, it only became the wrong item once they lost that fight. And he's immediately switching off of it because he recognizes that it's not what he needs. Go, you know, we did. They they failed their smoke. GLGD, they're gonna look for one of their own, and there are a couple of heroes over here. It's Puppy as well as Yapsor. Yep, they're playing yeah, pretty far back. 
Look like they'll find anyone. Secret heading more up towards the top side of the map now. Yeah, both teams discontent taking their respective bounty runes. LGD trying to capitalize on the fact that maybe somebody would go alone to pick those up. But Secret better than that. It does get them a nice ward that sets up for pushing the tier 2 bottom and the tier 1 mid. Might get dewarded later, but the fact that you smoked means that they no way saw you do that ward. Tier 2 tower, as you said, will be going down pretty quickly. They have the glyph. We've seen them glyph a tier 2 before. Doubt they want them. No, they will do it. Just have to be careful now because there's gonna be a. If, 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 there's nothing you can do to stop the void if he gets the chrono off, and then Somnus could theoretically just get two or three seconds of a tree channel, and whoever's caught inside is just gonna go down. And if it's Spectre, because the BKB, you won't take dispersal damage. Get ready, they're gonna try to go in. It will be Chalice. Chalice will get Whoa. the ulti up there. It's gonna be a shrine. Can they get their the time? They do with the oh mech. And it's gonna be a and chrono army doing so much damage. The ass is getting right click. Hasn't gone down yet. Finally gets right click down. The Spectre can't make it down the hill quite yet yes he will the solar crest saves him for now or does it still ticking down but will be okay because the pirate drum now oh saw is just destroying oh. this one right now but they got him in the fountain. and they do get nisha fy what a play what did he do? hit him with an arrow i missed no oh, he queued and it lands like it, he was oh near enough gosh. so the star falls going to land even if you tp out it wow. just takes a little delay oh and they God. just killed all three cores of secret in that fight and the TP, FY up top, they yeah. bait him in. And, and Chalice getting the ulti off yeah. the mech, the shrine. You fought into a shrine, right? Indeed. That's one of the deadly sins, I believe. And you're fighting with melee heroes into a Magnus. There was a bit of stun overlap, and Secret yes. get heavily punished. And all of a sudden now, Butterfly on Ame. He's just not disassembling the, the Mask Madness, by the way. He bought another quarter staff. Oh, really? Yeah, so he chose to just go for the more deeps. Hmm. Interesting. I figured he would split just because the um, Satanic is going to be so good in this game later on. Yeah. That's what allows you to. Yeah, just he is. He does have it queued up. Because so you're playing. Interesting. You're, you're, wait, Satanic's queued yeah, up. Yeah, he has yeah. a Satanic queued up. Oh. That's really weird. It is. Oh, wait, is the quarter staff going to get a queue? Well, we're going to another fight. Yeah, it looks like we will get a it call is. onto the ogre. It will be an ice path. Looks like they can get this five position. Maybe not. He four steps out. Zai is going to be in bad position because of Chalice and that nice skewer. Nice arrow as well from FY. A one for one trade, but Samus in a little bit of trouble now. They are going to pop it. Desolate won't be there because Ame's over here helping out. And Nisha taking so much damage from those three oh, girls and the bash. One more. Another will be there. Oh my god, they get the kill and now pops the BKB just to get puppy. Another bash goes out there. This guy's Alex good. Chasing for more Somnus once as well, but they will find Yapsor possibly. Ame has Chrono in 20. Probably doesn't want to use it. Yep, Yapsor's out of here, but another three for zero trade. I'm going to do some replay analysis later on the bash skill required. Yes. By Ame, that was insane. Just two in a row, just uh, to bash him down. And this Specter had so much farm, but dies twice in a row. Yeah. Yep, look at that damage. Ame, he's smiling 4.1k damage done. And Ogre's got the blast coming yeah. He does. And yeah. uh, for a long, in a long way. Wins, but. It's just so much damage. Like, you're. you're because of the way. Uh, man, we're going to watch it right here. Yeah. You can see the initiation on the Ogre. We've discussed how. Awful this hero is. He almost makes it out too. Yeah, Chalice with a nice skewer away onto Zai to prevent it. Follow up damage. Now I might just start shredding it. Like the, the Mask of Madness popped with the butterfly. It, it's every item that Void gets, the damage output is just multiplied, right? So each item be, is like two or three times oh, effective. I try to jump in. Sorry, it looks like Amit. He takes a ton of damage because that Blade Mother is going to jump back. They're going to go for the kill. Chalice has used his ult already. The tree throws there. Zai is the only one to go down. X Nova in the back. They are Marana ulti. Somnus gets another one on Puppy. They try to get their tornado up. X Nova will finally drop. And he gets the chrome, but will be only on Nisha. But that's the only one you need to get this kill. And they will. The damage from FY and Tiny in that chrono. Nisha just died three times in about three minutes right yeah. here. This does not feel like a good spec. Look at the net worth. Dude. 17k to 13k now. This As I said, much easier to play Void this game. Yeah, especially, you have Ogre and Mag, so once you get ahead, you're scarily ahead, and you just can't deal with them anymore. You'll have a Satanic finished up soon, and then it's like, how do you kill him? Yeah. Even more survivability. So, I did not actually say that, and I'm completely blown away by the fact that LGD is just able to take these fights so well with the Blink Daggers and the skill-based stuff against the heroes that Secret has. It's the Void BKB, I think. I think the decision to skip Maelstrom was necessary because at this, like, Ame just gets the Chrono off BKBs and there's no way for Secret to deal with him. He can ignore the dispersion damage completely and just 
someone dies. And if you find that one kill, it's very easy for LTD to chase for more. 7k, the gold league now. Echo Saber. Seeker kind of has damage issues. They went and yeah. mounted a fusel on Spectre, and they went all these utility items on mid one. Yeah, we were discussing whether or not he'd go Radiance. And we liked the Solar Crest, but Solar Crest and Pipe and a Plate Mail. Ame? Possibly in trouble. No, the Ice Path won't hit. Is he going to disassemble? Is the be all in all question here? He has Silver Edge queued up as well. Beautiful item this game. Yeah, he's dis. Also, BSG, I think you were talking about it with Gunner earlier. There's a cool interaction, right, with Echo Saber plus the tree, right? Yes, it slows on every attack from the tree, from the Axe Scepter. Tree oh, volley. Really? Yes, every single attack applies the Echo Saber 0.8 seconds slow. So they're pretty much perma slow. Yeah. So yeah. they're just stuck Second. in the volley. If they don't have mobility or BKB or anything like that, yes, Fair they much. are. Forward mid one just gets first hit bashed immediately. They're baiting it in on the backside. He is gonna hit another ult. Oh, 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 oh. They don't even need the arrow that flies through. He does too much damage. Puppy, they don't even care about him. They want to chase a more important target. It's gonna be a mid one. He gets multi casted. There's gonna be the double star fall. And Ame just right click after right click. Samus already killed Puppy as well. Mid one will run away for now, but it won't matter. Ame continuously chasing him down. There comes the tree volley. And mid one just gets right click down. Well, he lives for a bit, but it doesn't matter. This is looking to be a 2-0 for PSG LGD. They don't have creeps, though. They can't even bring down this tier 2 tower. They're common, though. Slowly but surely. They're looking good. They're playing with confidence. Very poised. I mean, they they just won five fights in a row. Like, just straight up, they've lost maybe Ogre twice, and that's about it. Feels like everything is picking up LGD. Now, there goes the tier 3. Melee racks so quickly. Oh, I for he does have that blade mill. There's gonna be a skewer all the way back though. Ame makes it out. Are they gonna leave Chalice? No, he's so tanky, doesn't he? Carry will pop the pipe. It empowers Ame. And well, Chalice, looks like you are left to die, but guess what? You got a full set of racks. You did your job. X Nova dies as well. The tornado? Close to hitting Ame. Satanic is such a better item now that you can lifesteal off of a loot. Yeah, that's one of the most. You used it, to not be able to do that. It used to change the relation. I think Spectre was much better against Void back at that, uh, before that, because if you weren't attacking the real one, you'd end up just dying, because you know, life still effectively is worthless. Yeah. And th that changed. He just used a Haunt Illusion to get yeah. all of his health back. And they are trying to force Roche. They force Max. the buyback on Mag. They only have, they only have the Chrono. They don't have the Mag RP for another 23 seconds. You got the Tree Volley as well, though, which feels... Pretty much a He's chucking him. Oh my god. Yeah, see how slow, yeah, see how slow Roche is continuously applying that Echo Saber. And now he's just chilling. Roche is a little farther up now. And Ami he's just, just goes in. in, yeah, he's like, you know yeah. what? It seems I'm, to be an easy I'm Roche. surprised it took him this long. Isn't this first Roche? It's 33 it is, it is. in. There's just been so many fights, they forgot, they're like, oh yeah, we could do that. Both and teams are they just gonna have walk so much in? stuff they can chuck into the pit, it's kind of hard to the Roche. It does only hit the Roche. Dagger flies through. Neither team wants to fully commit. Arrow is going to fly. It actually hits Nisha on the back. Line. There's going to be the boat. It only hits onto one. It is going to be Chalice. He hasn't used his ulti play yet. He does have a wand. There's going to be the tree volley going in. Doing so much damage. But Chalice is the first one to fall. They do get a toss in the air. Zai looking to be the next one to die. That's the one that's keeping alive for a little bit. X Nova dies as well. Gem does get dropped. But they're going for mid one. The BKB pops. So the ice path won't do anything. And he will get the kill. He does. Ame does get called. Now Zai getting bashed up. First hit. Ame makes it out. Has the spirit vessel though. Cold snapped as well, just being permanently stunned. It looks like they might be able to bring him down. This Roshi goes down, arrow flies in, hits Zion. Oh, oh my, my goodness, Samus shreds them all. He even makes it out the cold snap, the battle hunger, and the spirit vessel. It doesn't matter. Can't ask for a better fight over Secret. They killed the one hero without buyback on the enemy team, but it's just. PSGLG, they just do, they do too much damage. They had to all in for Chalice, and it doesn't feel good. Yeah, oh. DD for Void, man. The Guardian Greaves on this Maran and just yeah, keeping yeah. everyone alive. They're going in. The Alacrity's there. The tree throw. Will that actually get the kill on Roche? Might be helping Nisha out. He snatches it. They do get the kill on it. Ame goes in. That's going to be the Aegis. No, he makes it over. But they need to get in. Now he's in a bad position. They have the double damage. No Chrono. Do you go for this kill? Well, this Arrow kill. will fly out. It does hit. We have a Knight going. He can't get the stun off because he does get Ice Path on the back. Ame trying to chase for more with that. They're going to bring down Nisha. Looks like he runs up hill. Puppy just getting destroyed. He's there. Oh. Nice. Arrow. Oh, That's the, neutral. the gem. Holy smokes. The neutral does kill Nisha, but Nisha's dead. 
and this is this is looking rough. Does do they just lose another set of racks here? Yeah. And uh, uh, dude, not I not necessarily they do have Spectre buyback. Can we? How much damage? Tiny is just going insane yeah. right now. He has a chrysalis, almost has a full daedalus. This Tiny, I I don't know. He is doing so much damage. This is uh, something I think we may be seeing on the main stage, folks. Tiny Void? Uh, tiny, specifically, uh, yeah. Because yeah. it's, it, it, it's one of those TI heroes, a lot like Earthshaker, right? Where I, I'm not saying, like, this will sound weird. It's not like low skill, but it's simple, right? Yeah. And it's got tons of burst versatile in lanes um in rolls and you just do so much damage and it's not um it's like it's not complicated to get it off much like a kunkka would be right it's a, it's a lot more difficult to, to use your spells properly as kunkka in the middle of the fight whereas tiny just, hey throw trees over there it's a ton of damage especially with the echo saber is that a i guess that's an intended interaction but yeah it's just that the echo saber only goes on cooldown if your hero actually attacks yeah so every item in the game or ability that applies just like monkey king ult and stuff uh -huh. as long as your echo saber is off cooldown they will apply so it, 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 it is an intentional Holy interaction and don't forget he always has the empower while he's in. Oh, so yeah. he is just bonus 100 and, or it's 40 percent now so it's a bonus 100 damage for from the empower. every single that is a lot saw 33 Okay, hero damage done in 36 minutes. Thousand damage minute to hear. Oh, this guy has no chill, man. He's going for a second day as well as he is. Let's up. go. Why not? Yeah. Yep. Ogre as well. Look at he has a Vlad. He has a full medallion. Now this is your five position. You know you're in a, a pretty good spot when X Nova's this far. Lotus Orb as well there. on the Marana. Just enabling his team to play yeah. Dota. They're not even waiting for Ami level 25. Will there be an arrow? Oh, skewer and arrow missed. They're gonna get back for now. Yeah. They had a ward that saw him next himself there. That's why they were able to basically yeah. throw their abilities at him. And, and now Void Butterfly, Silver, he has Satanic and Backtrack with the evasion. It's near impossible to take him down. They're just trying to go in right here. He is gonna be Sans. He has the Lotus Orb now. X Nova just kind of running into the base. Nisha took so much damage right there from just stun from Ogre and Tree Volley. They're gonna try to permanently disable this face Void, but I don't even know if he's taking damage at this point. He's just gonna right click. It's gonna be on Denisha. There's gonna be a nice call again by Thai, but it doesn't matter. Trees everywhere. There's gonna be a nice path locking him down. Mid one gonna try to make it out. There's gonna be Ame just running out. Nisha has bought back. He pops his ultimate. Does he want to jump in? Not quite yet. Arrow flies. Cal by Somnus. And now they move forward. Starstorm almost killing mid Jesus, one there. And Silver Edge. They just instantly kill Nisha. And that's a GG call. That was a dieback. And PSG, LGD, they didn't just beat Secret. They beat him convincingly two games in a row. Two, exactly the same, right? Two 38 minute games. And they, they look clean. This game especially. Oh, yeah. They, they won, I mean, they won nine fights or something like that in a row. Like Secret never took a fight. I haven't watched Secret All Tournament, so I assume they've probably done this before, but I just, based on the even match in terms of skill between these two teams, I'm not a believer in four position. I'm just really? going to leave it out there. Like, I Hot just take? I, I just feel you like think? the four position Marana is way more impactful. But that, that's my opinion. Early game. I will agree with that. Like, I'm